little Sai here. Look, the sun is shining. Woo! It's a whopping 55 degrees. It's still chilly, but the sun is shining. Woo! So I'm loving it. Well, I found a pattern. It is of a horse. And it is a free pattern by um, corralstudios.com. I'll leave a link down below in the description box to um, this person's web page. But anywho, I modified it a little bit because, I don't know, I there were some things on the pattern that just looked funny to me, so I changed them. And maybe it looks funnier now? I don't know. But I like it. So, um, yeah. I thought that I would do the horse in walnut. So I put some tape on my walnut. And then I thought that the mane could be in zebra wood. And then I have this little piece of black wood, which I'm not sure what it is, but I'm thinking it's wenji. So I thought the eye could be in wenji. Yay! And I think as I work, I'll probably change some of these to make them different colors. But for now, I'm using walnut, zebra wood, and what I think is wenji. So yay! Let's get started. So I'm gonna use Loctite, and I haven't used it with the blue tape before, so I'm gonna see how that works. The air blew the little pieces all over the place, so I've learned to hold onto them for the first spray, but I need to wear a glove or else I get all sticky. But it worked great with the blue tape, making it easy to remove from the wood later. My board of walnut is about a half an inch thick in some spots and not in others. The planer's over in Prineville, so I can't plane my boards down to the same thickness, but that's okay. I am using a Pegasus Modified Geometry blade number five that cuts one third of an inch to one inch. So um, yeah, let's get started. So I cut out the pattern on my scroll saw. I removed the paper and tape off the mane, but kept it on the horse because of the small pieces. So then I removed it from each piece as I sanded on the pneumatic drum sander. I wanted to make the eye black, so I took the tape off of the walnut eye and I put it on the piece of Wenji, then cut that little tiny piece out following around the pattern. Then started the final shaping with 100 grit. So the walnut is taller than the zebra wood. I want the hair, which is a zebra wood, to be taller than the horse. So what I've done is I made some risers for each piece. And I'm gonna just make the hair taller. So all of the risers now are done and I just made them individual for each piece which would have been much easier if I just had taken the zebra wood and glued two pieces together or kept it thick because I had resawed it to make it thinner. Ah! Anyway, uh, I didn't think about it a whole lot, I guess, but this is working. So now I have some work to do in that I want to make sure that the hair looks more flowy. It kind of looks like it's just stuck right there now. So I'm gonna work on making it a little bit more flowy. I used double-sided tape to pick up the mane as one piece so I could sand the backside to make it angled, like the horse is coming off the page a bit. There. I'm gonna make this horse body part right here when I'm all done gluing these together, and then it'll be easier, because I'm not gonna use the pattern, I don't think it'll match. 
So I put a couple more risers on some more little pieces there and trying to work with that. So I think I will just continue on sanding. Sanding! I went over everything with 150 and 220 grits. There was this one little tiny piece. I ended up making a riser for it and was able to clamp it, believe it or not. I am going to spot glue the hair together with some dap. Love this stuff. I have this little piece of, uh, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's pecan. And I'm going to make the catch light in the eye. And there's another term for it, and I can't remember what that term is, but uh, someone told me it's called catch light, and someone told me it's called something else. But anyway, I'm calling it the catch light. <laughs> so I'm going to make the catch light, and I like it on that side better than this side. This side looks like more like a pupil. And I wasn't wanting to make a pupil. So on this side, it looks going to look more like a catch light, I think. This is scary. I found using tweezers really helps. Okay. Awesome! Let's put a little glue on that baby. perfect size brush for that. Yay! Clean that off nicely. I'll just let that dry. It looks so funny looking in your eye like that. Okay. When it was dry I cut it off and sanded it. Cool. Then I dap glued the horse head pieces together, so I ended up with two large pieces, the mane and the horse head. I traced around those and cut out a hardboard backer. Tried it on for size and discovered I had cut one of the ears off the backer, so I cut out a whole new one. And I glued it all onto that one. I placed a hanger and a verse and my logo. I also used the lacquer thinner transfer technique and I found that lacquer thinner dries so fast that I have to wet it a few times and when it is wet is when you want to rub it with something like this frosting spreader. Oh, and the verse I chose is Job 39.24. It says, with great excitement, the horse races over the ground and it cannot stand still when it hears the trumpet. And here's how they turned out. Then I wiped it all down with a tack cloth and sprayed it. I'm gonna go with the polyurethane again. Well, the horse is all dry and it turned out way better than I expected it to. Who'd have thought? But this is a free stained glass pattern well, it was a stained glass pattern, and I just changed it a little bit. Just where the hair is and stuff. Um, but it's walnut, wenji, and that little piece is pecan, and this is zebra wood. Yeah. So it's more like a segmentation and a little bit of intarsia in there. And, you know, it's intarsia-ish because of all my gaps and stuff, which... That's kind of just the way it works with me. 
And like I've said before, gaps happen, so whatever. Anywho, um, I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. And so I ended up not adding that neck piece, and I think it looks okay. So thanks for joining me, everybody. And I'm just going to toss this up on my Etsy store. And we'll just see you next time.